Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Ash, and today I'm going to talk to you about the one thing that I see Sprouts doing horribly wrong and some veteran players in Duty Roulettes, Dungeons, and Trials. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. What's the one thing that 98% of Dungeons and Trials have in common? You guessed it, loot. So many times when I'm running a dungeon, trial, what have you, 85 to 90% of the people are just passing on the loot and not rolling greed or even need when they have the chance. Let me tell you why this is a big no-no. Loot can be used for so many things other than just selling to a vendor, which you should absolutely not be doing. Since I am geared toward beginner players, sprouts, and returning players, I'm just going to talk about the casual player. Casual players should have your grand company unlocked and upgraded. It is not difficult to do. It takes just an ounce of your time. I think I did it in just a few hours. If you want to know how to unlock your grand company or unlock your squadron or just have general questions, then leave a comment down below and let me know. Or maybe I can just make a video about it. Anyways, the reason why you want to do this is because then you unlock something called expert delivery where you can turn dungeon loot, trials, raids, etc. in for grand company seals. And why do we want grand company seals? Well, I'm glad you asked. You can buy all sorts of regular things that you need for everyday gameplay, such as ventures for your retainers, cordials for your gatherers, or glamour prisms to sell or use. Let's just say by some extraordinary means that you're all maxed out on ventures, you don't really need any more cordials, and you're tired of glamour prisms, which is not common and only people who've been playing for a long time would probably be able to say yes to all these questions. Well, you can then buy duck bones or any of the other materials that are for 360 gil a piece and sell those to a vendor for an extra 30 to 50,000 gil each time you have a lot of grand company sales. This is literally for doing nothing other than rolling on need or greed on your gear content you are already playing. This is just a bonus. I'm going to put in a little caveat here. If you're running a dungeon and someone does ask for a particular piece of gear, I do usually just pass on it because if I don't really need it and they were really wanting it, I'm going to go out of my way to make sure to pass on it so then they can get the gear they need. But 99% of the time, I am rolling need or greed on everything that is loot. I do this for every dungeon above 50. Even if it's a little lower, I will still do it. I know that some people wouldn't want to do it because it's only two to 500 grand company sales per turn in, but every little bit counts. And again, you're already running the dungeon, so you might as well get a little extra benefit from it. If you're at the end game and you have Domen Enclave Restoration unlocked, you can get even more bang for your buck by selling the duck bones or any of the other items for 120%, which will net you even more profit. It really baffles me when I see players not doing this because in my opinion, this is how you make money over a period of time. There is no get rich quick scheme that is sustainable. You may be able to time the market or maybe you have a bazillion retainers over 10 characters that you're utilizing, but this is the way casual players, I believe, build up a little wealth over time. Let's say you're a crafter. You can be desynthesizing this loot to level up your class's desynthesis stat. This helps with getting rarer materials down the road and each desynth gives you crafting materials that help you start building your inventory. I don't even want to hear about your storage problems. We all have them, says me with nine retainers. Not only that, but cordials and glamour prisms are always a hot commodity, so they usually sell within a day anywhere from 30,000 to 50,000. You kind of have to see what works better for you on your server. There are also a ton of cool one-time purchases that you need to make like with emotes and housing items along with the chocobo barding. And you can even buy grade 7 dark matter so then you can do repairs for your gear if you're a crafter. I consider myself a completionist so I made sure to buy everything I can with my grand company seals before doing the extras. But you can achieve all this with literally no effort just by rolling on your loot. 
I hope you guys like the tip and we'll get rolling on your loot. If you got a little value out of this video, make sure to boop that subscribe button down below and I will see you all in my next video.